One word would it be? Perseverance. Perseverance, and you know what perseverance means? It means uh, basically the power to go through something and to come out of it good in the end. So I persevered because my life has been perseverance. I had to overcome a lot of obstacles and challenges. I had to overcome. And that's my life, and that still is my life. You have to overcome things. You can't be victims to your environment. So you have to persevere. You have to overcome, you have to go through. Because a lot of times, majority of people don't overcome. But it's possible if you have the right knowledge, and you have the right work ethic, and you have the right willpower. Can't be affected with your environment. So a lot of times, I know for me, in some aspects of my life, in certain points in my life, things felt hopeless for me. And it even got to a point when I was in my late teens, early 20s, where I almost committed suicide. I thought about it, killing myself. But, why? Because things weren't going how I wanted them to go in my life. Things were not going the way I wanted them to go. I felt that my situation was hopeless, and those thoughts came into my head. And a lot of times, our environments that we live in, our situations seem hopeless, and that there's nothing that you can do, so you just want to end it. But that's where you gotta have that faith, you gotta have that power to overcome and persevere and go through. I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna come back to you. Yes. If I could what? If I could change anything in my life, I wouldn't change anything because it made me the person I am today. I'll take the hard times, I'll take the, the, the nights where I might have cried myself to sleep. Might took an empty stomach a day or two that I had in my life. Because it all made me to be appreciative for the things that I have now. Yes. Also, you said you want to kill something. Do it have Did it have to do with what? No, it did not have to do with my special. It had to do with actually sports. So things weren't going right how I wanted them on the football field. And at that time, like a lot of young people, we feel that sports is our everything. Like your life. And like it was my life. It was my life. That's all I ever That's what I actually it was, to be honest with you, because of some of the things I liked in my childhood, the positive affirmations, the love that affection that I needed. I didn't have that a lot of times growing up. So sports was kind of that thing for me. So when, in my career, when things weren't going well, I wasn't getting that love that I was used to, and it made me feel a certain way. And it was like, you know, I'm working hard, I'm doing everything right, but still things are going wrong. Doing, every, doing the right thing, I'm doing this, I'm going to class, I'm getting good grades, I'm working hard on the football field. And what I'm used to a lot of times is that if you do the right things, good things will happen to you. And things weren't happening in the time frame in which I thought they were supposed to be happening. So it made me depressed and discouraged. But I got through that and I did take my life that night and things got better. So I had to persevere and I went through it. And I came back stronger in the end, right here in this sweater, and I'll get back to you. Football, uh, it was one of the factors. It wasn't, it wasn't the end all be all. What saved me really was the decision that I made. The decision that I made to do the right things, to get good grades. Because it's all a decision. Everybody has the capability to be successful in school, to be successful in life. It's just if you want to make the decision to do that and you're going to put the work in to do that. That's all it is. It's all a decision. All you guys are smart enough to get all A's in classes. It's just a decision that you make in which I'm going to play video games, I'm going to talk on the phone, I'm going to be on Instagram, I'm going to be on Snapchat for five, ten hours and 
not do my homework or not study. Because you all have to make the capabilities. It's the decisions that you make that determine how successful you're going to be. Yes. Right here, then right here, I'm going to get back to you. How easy is your life now? How easy is my life now? It's harder now than it was then. You know why it's harder? Because every day I hear people like you guys getting shot and getting killed every day. And my mission in life and my goal and my purpose for being is to reach young people and help them to discover their full potential and all that they're capable of being. And I use my life as an example of that. So when I see people, young men my age, who made a decision or who was at the wrong place at the wrong time, a little part of me dies because that could have been me 10, 15 years ago. And my goal is to make sure that never happens again. So it's harder now. I have more of a burden because when I was younger, all I thought it was about me. All I thought was me, 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 and me. Now it's about y'all. And if I can't save y'all and I can't reach y'all, or if I fail, that hurts me, so it's harder now than it was then. So we got time for one more. One more, I said I'll get to that. Yeah. I uh, turned 30 uh, three months ago. 30 years old. Yeah. I hope that's not old. It's 30 years old. I guess we got one more. Okay, right here. What made me decide to think about suicide? To be honest with you, and just to be 120% honest, and I got to keep it real, I prayed to God that night. And I was like, God, if you really real, I need to know right now, because I don't know if I'm going to make it to the cross. And that night, I felt the presence of God come into my room and hug me like you hug the newborn baby. I had both people since I've had in my life. And that's when I gave my life to God. Truly gave my life to God. I was always in the church, but truly gave my life to God that night. That's what saved me. All right, Walter, we want to thank you so much for coming out.